Hey everyone, I am Kate Danielle and today I'm giving you a general overview of Canva. I'll be walking through all the different features the free version of Canva has to offer. So if you're new to Canva, this is a great resource for you. If you've been using it for a while, most of it you probably already know, but there is one interesting tidbit about the Canva pre-designed layouts that cost money and I show you how you can actually use most of them for free. So I'm at canva.com and this is what it will look like if you have never set up an account or if you're logged out. So you can quickly set up an account with Facebook or an email. And I have an account set up for this tutorial just because my regular account is the pro version of Canva which is called Canva for Work. The free version is very powerful. Across the top here is going to be your most used templates or the most popular precise templates that Canva has for you. And down here is where your saved work will show up. You can click on more and see all of their design sizes. So across the top is the most popular and then you have social media and if you hover over these you can see the sizes and you can also use a custom dimension if you want it to be something other than those and you can type in your own dimensions. Over on the left this is where you can click the button for create a design which brings you to here. You can go back to all of your designs. Any designs that have been shared with you this is a new feature or you can add team members so if you have a team of people working on something or you want to share things in the free version as you can see you can have 10 team members. This is another new feature for the free Canva is you can save up to three colors in one color palette. In the past anytime you input a custom color code it only saved it to that one design and you had to do it again if you're working on another design. And I have a blog post where you can learn how to pull color codes to input them in here. Another new feature is you can make two folders to organize your designs in. For example, if you wanted to have a folder for Pinterest images, and you could also have a folder for um, Instagram Im images or whatever you make. You can have up to two in the free version. Once you choose a design size, the canvas automatically opens on this layouts tab and you can see there is all kinds of layouts to get you started. A few of them are free indicated by the little free icon and the others have an element within it that cost money but I will say that most of the time it is just the stock photography because Canva does have stock photography that you can purchase for a dollar and if you um, you can tell the ones that aren't free because they're watermarked and if I had edited this and left those photos in and tried to download it it pops up to um, pay for the images but if you like this layout and don't need the images you can just delete those and then insert your own and in most cases that gets rid of any of the paid elements and if I had inserted my own images see you can go ahead and download it and it doesn't cost anything. The next tab down is the elements tab and you can see here they've got different categories you can find all the free photos that they have these grids are frames that once you click one they automatically snap to the size of your canvas and then you can go back to the free photos or your own uploaded photos which I'll show you a little later and hover over it until it sort of grays out and you can see it pop in there. The difference between the grids and the frames the frames still have some grid options but they will not pop into your canvas like this will stay a square and there's all kinds of different frame options there's some with these color blocks and you can change the color just by clicking up there and I'm pretty sure most of these are all free for you to use the next little category under elements is the shapes 
there are all kinds of shapes and you can easily change the colors of these. Um, I don't know if this used to not be the case, but you can change the square into a rectangle. I've seen um, some requests for Canva to have a rectangle shape and like I said that may have been an outdated request but I just wanted to show you. You just pop, click to pop in the shape and you can just drag it that way or that way and if you wanted to keep it a square you would just drag it by the corner. Now we'll look at the text tab. You click one of these to add in a text box and just type. You go up here to change the font, the size, color. You could also use one of the pre-populated text options. I will show you what I don't love about them is it is all grouped together and locked so the only thing you can do is change the font, the size, and the color but if you needed to, if your text was really long it's just going to get smaller and if you wanted to hit enter you can't then move that text box up away from desserts even though that desserts is technically a separate text box it is all locked together so I like to lay out my own text but these are great for inspiration backgrounds is where you could change the entire background color or add a pattern and you can also click on the pattern and play around with the colors it's really only going to change that main color that the pattern in it is always going to be a grayish tone of your, the color you pick and if it's for example if you pick black it goes away totally And then upload is where you upload your own photos. Um, I use this all the time. Just pick a photo and it uploads it. And then you can just drag them on or insert these in frames. You click on the Facebook option, it pulls in automatically all of your Facebook photos if you logged in with your Facebook account. And then obviously your purchase or your uploads. Okay, all you entrepreneurs, I hope you loved this tutorial. And if you would like a more in-depth design tutorial using Canva, I have just the thing for you. My new free course, Canva for Entrepreneurs. It will teach you how to create irresistible graphics with ease. You'll learn how to create branded graphics, templates to save time, and how to take Canva to the next level and break the Canva mold. So sign up now to be there when the door is open and it's time for you to think like a boss, but play like a mom.